What is the definition of the F word? Hello everyone. Today, we're diving deep into a word that's both common and controversial, the F word. Let's unravel its meaning, history, and usage. Remember that understanding the context behind words can help us communicate more responsibly. What exactly is the F word? The F word is a euphemism for fuck. Originally an Anglo-Saxon word, its etymology is a matter of debate among linguists. Over time, it has acquired various meanings, from expressing frustration, to indicating surprise, to being used in a sexual context. What's important to note is that the word's meaning often changes based on context. How has its usage evolved? From Old English roots, fuck was at one time used primarily in a literal, sexual sense. However, as language evolves, so too did this word. By the 20th century, it began being used more broadly, sometimes as a verb, noun, adjective, and even an exclamation. The word's versatility is one of the reasons it's so commonly used, but it's also why it's often misunderstood or misused. Why is it considered offensive? While fuck is prevalent in modern language, it's considered vulgar and inappropriate in many contexts. This is largely due to its strong sexual connotations and its history of being used in derogatory or aggressive manners. However, context matters. While it might be acceptable among friends in a casual setting, it's usually not appropriate in formal or public situations. How can we use it responsibly? Words have power. Using them responsibly means being aware of your audience and the setting. Here are some tips. 1. Consider the context. If you're in a formal setting or around people you don't know well, it's best to avoid using the word. 2. Think about the impact. Words can evoke strong emotions. Always consider how others might feel. 3. Find alternatives. The English language is rich. If you're looking to emphasize a point, there are many other words you can choose from. While the F word is a small word, it carries a lot of weight. Understanding its history, connotations, and appropriate usage can help us communicate more effectively and empathetically. We hope this video has provided some clarity on this intriguing word. Remember, language is a powerful tool, so use it wisely.